Thanks, Ed. Today is National Guacamole Day, and to celebrate, Angelo Chavez, the executive chef of the Pink Taco, is here to show us how to make the classic dip and also some new ways to be creative with guacamole. Thank you so much for coming in. Hey, thanks for having us here. Yeah, absolutely. So tell us about Pink Taco. It's been around for a few months now. Came in April. Yeah. So here in here in Chicago, we're a little new. Um, mm -hmm. We're on the corner of Hubbard and Wells, 431 North Wells. Um, you know, we're really excited to be here in Chicago. It's a great food city, um, and it's one of our first restaurants in in our kind of expansion of our company. We we started in L.A. and now we're coming out to Chicago, and we're gonna hit Boston and Miami next. So, wow. yeah. So a growing company. So yeah. clearly growing because you have a very good staple. What sets your guacamole apart from all the rest? So our guacamole, we try to do kind of like a little bit more of a, a classic version of guacamole, right? Like okay. I feel if you're gonna do something, start where where it should, right? Okay. So we have hot avocados. Right, right, right inside there. Okay. Um, and you scoop it out. Yeah. So that's gonna, nice and easy to do that. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to give this a little bit of a, a smash with a fork. Okay. When you're doing this at home, this is the easiest way to do it. Um, I like to add salt to this part right away. Um, Why is that? Does that help with browning or anything? It you actually. Add the salt? And no. You're using coarse salt, like kosher salt. Yeah, so we're using kosher salt. And the reason I want to put the salt in there now is so that it gets nice and incorporated while I'm smashing it. Mm. Um, avocados are high in fat. So everybody asks me, like, what's the secret to making good guacamole, right? right. The secret is salt. Mm. Um, because of the fat content in the avocados, it actually soaks up the salt. Mm. So you really can't make, you can't make it too salty. Um, and as it sits, it's actually going to lose some of its flavor. So you want to kind of over season it in the beginning. So we have this all nice and smashed okay. up. And then we're going to do some onions? Yep. So we have some white onions. Okay. Um, the whole thing? About half. Okay. So half the onions, right? right? We use white onions instead of the yellow onions at the restaurant. Um, they're a little bit easier on the palate. Right, they're not super. Because uh, um, the yellow can be quite pungent. Yeah, yeah. Um, some jalapenos, okay. some chopped jalapenos. A little bit more. We can go a little spicy today. Is that a spicy? Yeah. All right. All right. A little cilantro. Cilantro. Yep. A little more. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cilantro is always good. Then and then we have our diced tomatoes. Should we add all of these? Yeah. Go ahead and throw all of those in there. All right. Perfect. All right. So we're gonna get this all nice and mixed up. Okay. We have lime juice, so fresh squeezed lime juice. You actually didn't see this. I squeezed about 40 limes this morning just for I you. I am impressed. Yeah. <laughs> Backstage. Very so we're going to give this all nice and mixed up, right? Mm -hmm. And this is this is like a good starting point for, for guacamole, right? This mm -hmm. is how we serve it in the restaurant. But if you're going to do this at home and you want to get a little creative, right. there's a lot of options. Um, and I see some very interesting things over there. Yeah, so avocados are a fruit. Right, so I like to I like to joke with people like when you make guacamole, you can actually make it a fruit salad. Mm -hmm. Add a little bit of pomegranates. We have some mangoes here. Dried cranberries are really nice. Uh, toasted pepitas, which are pumpkin seeds, mm -hmm. give us some nice texture on there. Nice. Um, this right here I have is our Diablo salsa. It's a Ooh. habanero salsa. Oh wow! So if you want it kind of spicy and mix it up a little bit, throw your favorite salsa in there. So do you put those on as a topper, or do you mix them in the guacamole? Mix them in the guacamole. Okay, I'll try one. Let's see. Create. Create? Yeah. All right, so we have our pomegranates in here. Okay. I'll try it out. And you know, too, as I munch here, yeah. tell me what is the secret to keeping it not from getting brown? Because you know, when you make it at home and then you want to put it out for guests, yeah. you don't want it to, to present it and it's browned on top, because that happens. Yeah, so the way that I always tell people, and there's a lot of different ways that people say, right? You leave the pit in, whatever. Um, take a uh, Delicious, by the way. Thank you. Take mm -hmm. a, um, a paper napkin, mm -hmm. right? Put it on top, and then squeeze lime juice on top of there. Um, it's going to keep the, the avocados from oxidizing. Great. Thank yeah. you so much for the tips. Yeah. And for more information on the recipes that you've seen here, we've got a link on our website for this segment and the pink taco guacamole recipe as well. Yep. Go to CBSChicago.com a little later on today.